Hey, hey, welcome. As promised, Slow MTG. We are going to open March of the Machines, a bundle. If you haven't actually caught my video where I cracked a collector's booster, lots of fun in that one, including a serialized hit. But now I'm going to show you the difference between the collectors, what you get in it. A full collector's box got me. These are all the, the rares and mythics. Look at that stack. I haven't counted, but that's, that's a lot, <clears throat> including this little gorgeous little baby. Um, serialized Zerda, the Dawn Waker, and a couple of misprints. But let's see what we get in the set booster card. So as with these bundles, um, just put that back there. As with these bundles, it comes in a box. You got Teferi and um, Quintus and Thalia all fighting together against the Phyrexian hordes um, of Elish Norn here. As you can see here on the box, kind of. The usual, lots of counters, tokens, yada yada. Anyway, let's get to the main action. You get one of these spin downs that, this is um, the last one, this is same similar. One's uh, March of Machines, one's Phyrexia all be one a giant spin down. You've got a little holder, and you've got eight set booster packs. You've got um, this um, basic land pack, which is non-foil, so... Put aside, and then you've got um, basic land foil, and this uh, this special bundle foil Galta and Maven. Galta is legendary dinosaur. There's these mashups in March of the Machine where the multiverses are colliding, so people are teaming up. Galta and Maven, uh, dinosaur and a vampire teaming up. There's a 12 12 for uh, seven, one of the bigger creatures in Magic. Trample, whenever you attack, choose one, create tapped and attacking XX green dinosaur token with trample where X is greatest power among other attacking other. Note that. <laughs> if not, you make another 12 12, that's crazy. Or you can create a um, 1 1 X 1 1 vampire creature tokens uh, with lifelink where X is the number of other attacking creatures. Okay, so the main ones, we're coming into set boosters. I think in the bundle, these ones are made in the US as usual. Complaints, um, I'll take complaints about the quality of the cards being printed in the US, being darker, smells weird, um, not as good quality as the ones coming out of Japan. They're also collated differently, I believe. So we've got the art card at the front, as per usual. Um, this one is uh, Ramosian Great Sword. And you've got these um, Takia Lands uh, Game Life uh, duels. Uh, as we've set boosters, you know, you've got thematic. Uncommons, commons, there we got the Ramosian Greatsword. And then you've got the uncommons. And then you can get anywhere between one to uh, four rares, including a foil. So we got dragons coming back, Shivan, Branch Burner, got uh, Kira, lots of flip cards with Phyrexian in them. Uh, and battle cards are a new thing. I explain it a little bit more in my collector's booster opening, so I won't go through in too much detail. But anyway, here we go. Um, they're double face cards which can basically attack and it comes back cast in on um, the other side. Each of these packs also, the other side tends to be a creature, it could be an uh, enchantment of some sort. Uh, got what they call the Legends of the Maldivus. So you've seen a lot of um, uh, my other opening where they come in etch foil and other foil treatments like that. Uh, uncommon and rare. So Dexos reprint coming back as a legend. You get one Legend of the Multiverse per pack and Ragavan's in there. Uh, so we got Yargle and Multani, our first rare. Do we get another one? Yargle, Yargle, not the most powerful or best creature. It's just a super freaking big Yargle. I guess if you fling it, you know, you could hit for 18. And we got a common uh, foil, Chomping, Kevu, and then we've got the list card, which is a um, sliver. Nice. Okay, so I, I think after opening collector's boosters, you realize how... Mm, these are fun. If you can afford to open a collector's boosters, yeah, why not do it? I highly recommend it. Also, if you're playing pre-release, your um, store might give you one of these Magic 30 promos. So I got one last night for playing, Eternal Witness, the Niv Mizzet, and another one. Um, I can't remember which Niv, but anyway. So here we go. Um, okay, this is a card I was looking for. Search of Salvation, a one mana. You and permanents you control gain hexproof until end of turn. Prevent all damage that black or red sources would deal the creatures you control this turn. So really kind of cool uh, way to protect your creatures. Okay, so Search of Salvation. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just going to put that there. 
um, uncommon common again and then you've got the battle card uh, invasion of Eldraine and you've got first mythic Herbresque, Herbresque, uh, non-foil so nice one this is one of the the um, legendary Praetors creatures in control of haste creatures your opponents control ETBs tapped so a bit of a Thalia type effect got a mythic we've got Nahiri's Warcrafting that's a nice uh, little rare quite powerful 3 mana deals 5 damage to target creature planeswalker battle look at top X cards where X is excess damage dealt this way you can exile the card and then put the rest of the bottom of the library in random order and play the exile card this turn uncommon and a rubbish card okay alright gonna tear through these so uh, that might be a list card or a double face token a uh, token card so here we go I'm just gonna scroll Skim sweep through all these. So Marshall, Z Aether Blade. This is a nice uh, two drop in black. Death Touch, Stone Walls, everything early on. Got the Invasion. Got Uncommon, Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty. So you see this, this is an Invocation non-foil, which is kind of weird. Invocations came out, Emon Cat. And here we've got one, Legends of the Multiverse in a non-foil. Um, okay. I wonder if you can get foils. So our, our rare is... Do, 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 do. Dusk Legion Duelist, pretty decent. When one or more counters are put on this draw card, but unfortunately only triggers once each turn. Got a common, and then we've got one of these token cards. Looking for a Ragavan, a, a rare multiverse, mythic multiverse legends card. Okay, put that there. Furnace host charger. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, comments. I'm just gonna sort them by comments, uncommons. Okay, um, Dominaria is being invaded when it ETBs game for life draw a card, flips over to a Sarah Angel, I guess for four flying vigilance. And then we've got multiverse slot, uh Veldic. We've got Yorian, here's the rare um uh Legends of Multiverse, the companions from Ikoria are back. And then we've got the rare invasion of Theros. So it's a siege battle when ETB search your libraries uh, uh, for an aura, god, or demigod card. Reveal it, shuffle. Not bad. <clears throat> Bit of a tutor. Um, and then got a rare invasion of Xerex. This one flips around to a god, Ephara, Abyss Sheltering, 4 4 as lightning, indestructible as long as you can tr control three or other enchantments. When another, another enchantment ETBs draw a card. It's not bad. Um, yeah, here we go. Foil battle. Getting through this. Oh no, I might have exited. Gotta be careful. Here we go. Okay, art card. It is bent because I actually bent it, I think. Um, yep, Sun's Fury. Full art land, non foil. You got all the commons, uncommon, uncommon, common. The battle invasion of Kamigawa. You've got Jury, Master of the Review, Legend of the Multiverse. Oh, we got a crimp card here. Oh, nice. Crimped Fairy Mastermind. Check this out. Okay, so um, for those of you who don't uh, know much about misprints, crimp happens, you see how these booster packs are sealed. It gets put in the pack and then a machine stamps it to seal it up. Sometimes the edge of the card gets caught um, in the pack. These are rare and they come crimped. So this one must have been crimped of all cards to be pushed out. Unfortunately, it enters the, sh the, the pack that way. It was crimped. Um, wow, this is a fantastic crimp to get. It's one of the, the marquee cards of the set. Yuda Takahashi, world champion from last year, um, created this card. Going to make waves in Commander. This is the first time I opened a crimped. No, I have opened crimped, but uh, I'm not sure if I've opened crimped cards on camera. Really sick though. Okay, that made the box. Um, there is a collector's group on Facebook, uh, MTG Misprint Collectors Group, and they, they do share all the polls and sell them, auction them. I don't know what this one is worth, but I think it'll have some demand. Some people collect and play full misprint commanders, by the way. So here we got the sign art card. <clears throat> Marauding Dread Sheep. Ship. Dread Ship. <clears throat> okay. More crimp goodness, hopefully. Seal from existence, free wheeler, um, invasion of Murganda. So ETBs put a plus one counter on target creature and then it fights. Um, here we got essence of orthodoxy. Um, 
Incubate 2, Flying 3-3. Three, three. Here, who nice! Another Preto in um, Extended or Alternate Art. Um, Legends of the Multiverse, Jin, Gitaxis, Core, Ogre. Flash, at the beginning of your end step, draw 7 cards. We know this one. Um, each opponent's hand size is reduced by 7 cards. So, sorry, these ones are actually Legends of the Multiverse. Uh, okay, so we've got a rare uh, Deep Root. I played against this, this is annoying. A 2-drop, you're playing... Um, Aggro deck, suddenly they 2-drop and they stonewall a lot of your 2-2s. Your so, and also has good ability. I think this is a really strong Murpho card. When it deals damage to a player or battle, surveil 1, then you may return a land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Alright, and then we've got list card. This is nice, Ranger of Eos. Beautiful art by Vulcan Barga. When it ETBs, search for your library for the 2 creature cards with CMC 1 or less. Um, and put them into your hand. So I think some Death Shadow decks played that one to search up Death Shadow. Okay, gonna speed along here. We got a first foil uh, land. Okay, gonna move along until we hit the battle card, which is Invasion of Rin, um, Jace's Plane. Jace unfortunately got corrupted and died in this. Um, <coughs> and he got corrupted because I think he um, got corrupted by his. One true love, Vraska. She was corrupted and she ended up uh, infecting him. Anyway, when it enters the battlefield, draw three cards, discard a card, and it's overloaded. Natring. We've got a Umuzawa Fugitive, Tetsuko, uh, Legend of Multiverse. We've got a rare Invasion of Akoria. This is a nice one. People are likening it to uh, one of the. Oh, I kind of remember now. So sorry, Shan Mis and Formi, and then remember. So it's Invasion of Ikoria X Green Green. Uh, it's a battle when it enters the battlefield. Search a library or graveyard for a non-human creature card with mana value X or less. So it's a tutor, um, and then put it in the battlefield. If you search this way, shuffle, and when you attack it down, it becomes an eight-eight on the back side, which is Zelorthar Apex of Ikoria. I think it's a five or six dollar card now. Reach. For each non-human you control, you may have that creature assign its combat damage as though it were not block. Nice one to have. Um, and then uh, a game card. Okay, lucky last pack. This is a... Would have otherwise been an average box if not for the um, Crimp Fairy Mastermind. Okay, art card. We've got another Thalia. I opened one earlier. <clears throat> okay. Let's keep going. Lucky last. Got the battle card, Invasion of Kamigawa, and then our multiverse is a another Dake source, unfortunately. We've got the rare Cezanne Perverter of Truth. This is a Legend of Multiverse card, a reprint. We've got a rare Complete the Circuit, and then a common Aki Scrub Chomper. There you have it. We have done the drill and gone through. I've got um, this card, one of each, and the highlight is really this Crimped Fairy Mastermind. Really cool. Well, and a bunch of set rares, um, multiverse, non-rares. So all set rares. Okay, thank you for joining me. All the best. Take care and... Oops, let me get it into focus. Good luck with all your hits. Bye.